temperature is now going up to 60 degrees. You can see uh, water uh, on the surface of this uh, bottle. Over there you see air bubbles coming out. Air coming out from here. Because also the air is getting hotter. So the air expands and gets out over there. Temperature is now going up to 70 degrees. I see more air bubbles coming up. The temperature of the water is now going up to 80 degrees. So in here, water is vaporizing. So what's coming out over there cannot only be air, but there's also vapor inside. Temperature is now going up to 90 degrees. So right now, the air that was in this bottle from the star should by now go out. In a few seconds there will be no air inside here anymore, just vapor going up. And then only vapor going down there. You can see now air bubbles rising up to the surface. But guess what will happen if only vapor is coming out of this hose? You're gonna find out. You can see the boiling water now. The temperature is now nearly 100 degrees. A lot of vapor going up now. But apparently there is still air going up. I guess by now we're running out of air in here. So next you will see what happens if only vapor is coming out of the hose. Maybe you can see big bubbles coming out of there and just small bubbles rising up to the surface. And those bubbles will go smaller and smaller, but you can still see big bubbles down there. How come? Vaporizing, boiling, big bubbles down there. Just small going up. Smaller and smaller. Right now there's almost nothing going up anymore. And what you can see over here is water cooking, going out, but when the water hits the cold water of this bottle, the vapor goes back into water again and never reaches the surface anymore. That's what you see. Next step, I will switch off the heater and get and remove it. And once the heater is removed, the boiling stops. And when the boiling stops, this bottle is gonna lose heat. And when it loses heat, it gets colder. And when it gets colder, this vapor inside will go grow colder. And when it goes colder, it will shrink. And if it shrinks, where will it get the volume from? Of course, it will get the volume from this cold bottle. Let's see what happens. Switch it off. And I also want to take it away. Because the heater is still hot. And I don't want that. Make sure it's stable, not falling down. Remove the heater, the boiling stops. This bottle is cooling down now. It's cooling down. Temperature is now showing 100 degrees. Still showing signs of boiling. And look what's happening now, right now. Water is going up here. Cold water is now going in here. Cold water is going in here. And what happens? 
I'm slowing it down. There's a lot of suction in here. That's what you see. And that's why, right now you can see it cooling again. The temperature is 85 degrees, but it's boiling again. Open up, more water in there. Close it down. What's happening in here? Only drops of water falling in because I squeeze the hose. But it boils again. By only 73 degrees, it's boiling. Why is it? I'm squeezing this hose over here so the pressure is getting very low in this bottle. And with no pressure, the boiling point of water is also going down. So right now we see water boiling at 70 degrees. If I open up this valve, cold water is going in here again. Cold water makes sure that the vapor inside will cool down even more quickly. And when it cools down more quickly, it also shrinks more quickly, getting in more water quickly. So this process is quite quickly. You'll see it. How much water is going in here? Look how it's going down over there. Spectacular. And meanwhile, maybe it's still cooking again down there, but I'm not sure because it's also plunging in. See that? In this bottle was only water. And when it cools down, all water will all the vapor will go back to water again but the whole space will be taken by water again ah, empty that's it the end